Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of comparing and ordering numbers. This is standard 4.2c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 9 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a table here that shows the railway lengths in five countries. And you notice they all seem to go to the same spot. They all seem to go to that 10 millions spot. So what I want to do is I'm going to draw a little place value table. And I'm going to draw some big lines here to kind of separate our periods. And let's see if we can just kind of in an organized way, compare these numbers here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to separate them with some little lines here, but I've got my ones, right? No decimals here, so we're just dealing with whole numbers. Ones, tens, hundreds. And you notice here I've also got ones, tens, hundreds, but this is my thousands period. So one thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. And then I could go up to my hundred thousands, but I don't really need to. Uh, it just goes up to, uh, or ten millions. So I'm just going to go up to ten millions rather than hundred millions because I've got my two different periods here, my thousands period, my millions period. If we need to label this, this is the ones period, but we don't really say its name. So now that I've got a nice little place value chart, let's start putting these numbers in line here. And then we're looking from shortest to longest. So this is going to be least, shortest is least, to greatest. And so that's something we're also going to have to keep in mind here. So our first one, now since they all go to the same spot, this 10 million spot, we can just build them left to right. So we've got 28,538,000. And with this double line will kind of serve as our comma. France, we've got 29 million, 640, and just zero, 640,000. All of them have zeros in the ones period there. So Italy has got, let's see, 20 million, 255,000. We've got two more. We've got our Japan, so that's 27 million, 182. And then we've got 20,192,000. So 182,000 for Japan, 192,000 for South Africa. Let's put some, some letters there. Brazil, we've got France, Italy, Japan, and South Africa. So when we are looking for our smallest number, we still go from left to right. And so we're looking to see, since they all go to the same spot, if they don't go to the same spot, we're looking for the one that goes to the uh, the smallest spot, but they all go to the 10 million spot. So look at this. We all have a two in the tens, 10 millions, which means they're all exactly the same. So we're not gonna do anything with the 10 millions, but we are gonna look at the millions here. Because look right here, I'm looking for my smallest numbers. I've got a zero and a zero. Those are my two smallest. So my smallest is either gonna be Italy or South Africa, but, in order to break this tie, we need to go to the next spot to the right of the hundred thousands. And look, I've got a two for Italy, but I've got a one here for South Africa. So my smallest is going to be, my least is going to be South Africa because it's got a zero in the millions and a one in the hundred thousands. Next after that is going to come Italy because it was very close. It just had that two in that hundred thousands. And so we're going back and we see we have two zeros and then the rest kind of fall in line here. We've got a seven, that's the next smallest, that's Japan. And then we've got an eight, that's the next smallest. I'll put that over here, that's Brazil. Then our biggest is going to be France. And so let's find which one matches that. We've got South Africa, D and B have that. Italy, yes, for D and B, Japan, yes. And the two differences, Brazil and France. And the one that gets it correct is here, B.